So when it comes to building alternative recoveries, uh, we've talked about um, Orange Fox, uh, Red Wolf. We've talked about, of course, building Team Win Recovery Project, and uh, you know you could always build the stock Android recovery that you see with your phone that comes with it. Another one that you can build as well that uh, I should just cover here briefly is uh, building the CyanogenMod Mod or Lineage OS. Um, custom recovery. Now this recovery, which I'm going to show some pictures of it on my phone because I actually built it for uh, my new phone, uh, my new play around with phone. And uh, and so it is it is another option. It's not a super popular option because its primary focus is for flashing lineage OS only. Um, however, and it, it is not a touch screen version. Uh, it, you utilize the uh, you know the volume controls and the uh, power button to select everything just like you would in the stock Android experience for recovery or in the uh, old CWM versions of recovery but it is still another recovery option so it bears mentioning so with uh, Lollipop uh, now of course lineage but used to be Cyanogen mod and right here I just happen to uh, have um, for Lollipop because that was the phone that I was building for. The kernel that was there for that phone was a Lollipop kernel and so I didn't upgrade that yet and so I have to build at the, the level that the kernel supports currently. Uh, but you could do this with any version of Lineage OS uh, all the way up to the latest uh, of Pi. But essentially the uh, in the bootable folder is this recovery folder. And so recovery is just like it sounds, it holds all the recovery. And if you look at the uh, res double uh, X here images, and we see this icon header, and of course it's for CyanGen recovery because I'm going back to Lollipop for this particular phone. It's CyanGen and not the lineage because that's what it was back then. However, the new ones say lineage instead. And uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like in a moment, uh, but essentially it uh, it is just like doing the stock Android experience, except for uh, CyanogenMod look and uh, coloring as well. And um, so when it's time to build something like this, uh, realistically, uh, building something like this is is very very simple because any device that's already been built for before. Um, you can just go ahead and uh, download that device tree and build for it. So I'm here in Lolli Lollipop Lineage and we build environment setup shell and uh, so there's lots of uh, options for you here. I happen to have built my very own tree um, for the uh, Life XL but essentially just like you're building or going to build um, lineage OS or CyanogenMod, mod you can just uh, launch that device and it will set up everything for you and once that is set up then you can just MKA recovery image and it's going to build that recovery image for you um, very very straightforward very very simple uh, if you need some help with how to set up and download uh, each version of lineage OS uh, I do have videos on that in the uh, building custom ROM series um, typically when you build your custom ROM in full you're also building recovery image you just don't usually flash it because it's not included in the zip file uh, that you flash to your phone it's just separate and sitting there um, so something to keep in mind is is it does uh, it does exist uh, when you do a normal build and it's sitting there waiting for you uh, to flash it to the phone, which we're going to take a look at in just a minute so you can see what it looks like. Um, one might wonder, well, why bother building this when we have Team Win Recovery mo uh, Project or uh, Red Wolf or Orange Fox or some of these much more uh, adaptive and better uh, recoveries? Well. <clears throat> One thing to consider, for instance, in this phone that I'm building for right now, the Life XL uh, does not have any custom ROMs. It does not have any recoveries. And so if you're building something from scratch for the first time, it might be convenient if you're going to build Lineage as the first, uh, or first ROM for this phone. Building the recovery for Lineage OS will allow you to flash the Lineage um, ROMs 
which doesn't sound really profound, but uh, but it does actually help because when you build team win recovery project or something like that, uh, your tree is not set up for building CyanogenMod or Lineage OS. And so if you're going to be building Lineage OS as the first custom ROM for your phone, which I highly recommend because it has the most support, it has the most uh, equipment out there, um, then this really allows you to uh, Oh, got a little error here. This allows you to uh, um, build and continue building uh, in with the same device tree that you've already got. For instance, the device tree that I have here for the Blue Life XL is for making uh, CyanogenMod, Mod, so it's all set up for that. So, if you look at my other tree for building mini twerp that's right uh, device blue life XL this is actually set up for building Omni ROM or a um, AOSP style ROM and if that's not the first one you're gonna build it may be more prudent for you to build uh, the um, cyanogen mod version first so just something to consider that might save some time I'm gonna take a look at this uh, what this failure here was real quick and maybe we can figure out what went wrong here okay remember when you have a problem you should always look for the code word of error right so let's see undefined reference to vold auto mount on Let's uh, make clean and do that again and see if that works out a little bit better. I was playing around with a few different things and was actually going to show a video on building Phil's Touch, but uh, Phil's Touch is, is uh, no longer uh, supported as far as I know, um, so uh, may not really be a useful thing to build anymore, but I was playing around with it and and had uh, several things uh, going on there. So let's make clean and let's try this again and see if we run into the same error. So let this get started building and then we'll take a look at the end project and I want to show you what it looks like if you uh, happen to decide you want to build that for your phone as well. Okay, so after uh, doing a make clean and then making it again, of course the uh, recovery built successfully and it says make completed successfully here um, so anytime that you want to build the lineage OS or CyanogenMod mod recovery it's just a matter of downloading um, CyanogenMod mod or lineage OS and building for any device just like you would normally except for you're going to choose to this to make MKA recovery image or you can just make the entire thing and the recovery image will be built and you can take that from the out folder and flash it to your phone just like you would normally typically using something like fastboot so I brought it up on the phone here and I'll show it to you uh, so you can take a look at it this is what it looks like it just says CyanGen recovery at the top you use the uh, volume rocker to go up and down and then you can push enter with the power button so nothing really exciting to look at here uh, I just wanted to show you while we did talk about the other alternate recoveries that we've made this is an option for you especially if you're only going to be building for lineage OS or CyanogenMod mod uh, OS um, pretty simple uh, something for you to uh, to build and it's very very handy if it's something that you're building for device for the first time uh, and you're building your device tree from scratch which I do have two different video series on that. I have a video series on building a device tree from scratch and I have a video series on building a uh, team win recovery project device tree from scratch. But if you look at either one of those you should be able to glean what you need to do to make a device tree from scratch for uh, CyanogenMod or Lineage OS and uh, for instance the uh, Blocks 2 device that we did, we did uh, in Lineage OS Marshmallow because that was the kernel version that the uh, the phone had but uh, either way it's a very uh, straightforward process that allows you to build the recovery that lets you flash 
the lineage OS you're making and uh, doesn't derail your project by having to stop build team win recovery project first and then start making a new tree for building engine mod because the trees are different you can just modify one tree from the other but there are some differences in there uh, that will make it uh, um, you know a little more time consuming if you went the route of building team win recovery project first and then go on to build lineage um, after that. So a little more straightforward if, if that was something you wanted to do.